Afternoon guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to do a bit of a how-to. You don't have to do this yourself if you're not that way inclined. Um, you can come and see a professional like us to have this upgrade done. Many, many, many of the Fiat Ducatos, the Peugeot Boxers, the Citroen Relays, all have the old fashioned glove box. Because this is pre-2014, it's gray. Um, this is a 2008 model. I've got a 2009 Swift Besser car, all gray dashboard, gray glove box. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of this gray glove box and upgrade it to the X290, which is the 14 onwards, genuine Fiat drinks holder, picture above now. So the reason for that is because you've already got a glove box here and that's plenty of storage. To have a big glove box here, yeah, great. But the problem is you've got nowhere really to put his and hers cups. You've got a cup here, normally it's got bits and pieces in there. It's right next to the cigarette lighters, they get in the way. What we're gonna do is transform this in a few simple steps, something that you can do yourself and you're gonna go from having a glove box to the genuine Fiat drinks holder. So what we're gonna do is show you bit by bit uh, on how to strip this old glove box out. So if you haven't got one already, you need to get yourself a Torx. It's a T25. T25 is what holds uh, a lot of these things together. It's not a Phillips, it's not a flat, it's a Torx screwdriver. And all you need to do is undo the glove box and access some of the screws in here. So you've got one either side of the opening. Um, you don't have to have any special uh, skills to be able to do what I'm doing. And all I'm doing is I'm undoing these screws here. And once you've undone them, put them in the glove box. So I've got one either side, that's two. That's the third one. That's the fourth one. And then you've got one either side of the catch. Normally I'd be crouching down with a head torch on, but then the camera wouldn't be able to see anything. So trying to lean into the vehicle to show you. So at this point now, you can see you've got a little bit of movement here and this whole bit of trim becomes free. So now you're on to the second stage. So once you've freed up this part of the um, trim here, we're then gonna undo the middle three screws. So let's just do that. Put the screwdriver to one side and those three screws. And then we can lift up the trim that clips onto and over the glove box. So that bit of trim there just clips over the top here and those three screws. And they're the three screws that we've now taken out. Now, that will now show you, or at least access, the bottom screws. Interestingly, one missing from here. Oh no, it's not missing. It's just never been put in properly in the first place. Or maybe somebody's done some work. Either way, there's one of the last screws and then you access the last screw down the bottom here. So let's get that out. Now, really should just be a case of the um, glove box and itself comes out. A little bit of a pull and a twist. And then you've also got the um, the guide here which clips over and it's attached to some fabric. So you just turn it to one side, push it in, pull it out, and then that will come out with the glove box. And you can then take the glove box away. And there we have the original glove box in gray that we're now going to replace. So I'm just gonna put this to one side. So 
So part of the kit that you buy from us is the piece of plastic trim behind because part of the glove box means that you lose the fixings behind the scenes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give you one of these and you're going to offer it up behind. Once you've done that, it all just sits in place. So you can pop that in like so. Chances are, because I'm just propped in, it's gonna fall over. But we're then going to screw it in. And by holding it all back in with its screws, we're ready for the drinks holder just to slot on and screw on. So going back to the kit contents as well, you're also gonna get nine new screws. Nice and shiny, not old like the old ones here. Um, they are slightly longer thread, um, still as coarse, but either way, T25. So we're gonna put the old ones away and we're gonna use the new ones to now screw it back up. Again, it's all pretty self-explanatory where you put the screws. Now this bottom corner here was where there was one missing. So that's now screwed in. And hopefully we'll have two holding these two up here. And then that gives you six screws for the stability side of it. So, now when you do put these in, just need to make sure that the piece of trim pushes home because it's a new piece of plastic And if it doesn't feel like the screw's gone in, then it, chances are that it hasn't. But don't do that one up fully tight just yet. You want to make sure the other one goes in as well. Okay, so now you're ready for the final part. And the final part is pushing the new genuine Fiat drinks holder on. So I'll go and grab that now. Right, we're now ready to put the genuine Fiat drinks holder in and we've also opened up one of the doors to add a bit more light if you had noticed. So, now you've put the subframe in, it should be relatively easy. You should just be able to line it up. It's got the four prongs here, one, two, three, four, and then two lower ones. If it's on properly, there's no reason why it shouldn't just engage. So just pop it up like so and should be able to feel that it just wants to push home. Let's have a look. So, obviously don't go in like a bull in a china shop because one of the six is not gonna line up and then you're gonna have a problem. So once you've done that, you can give it a little bit of a tap in. We're in, we're located. The other thing is you'll be able to see through the center hole here that this lines up with the thread. If it doesn't, take it back off and try again. So I'm just gonna get the last three screws and we pop those in. So we've got the last three brand new screws here. We've also got the little rubber mat that goes in here for your little coin holder. We've also got what would have been the USB blank that sits up in the top here. And the reason why you pop that in there is because the vehicles that came from factory with this drinks holder may or may not have had the USB capability for the radio, depending on the system. You also then get two of the blanking caps. And once you've put the two locating screws up here, they just push home. So what we do is we put the last screws in. Slightly embarrassing, I can't even open it. There you go, nice little rubber tray goes in there. It would help if I put it in right, to be honest. And then last two go in here. Again, just keep, just use a bit of, use your eyes and see if the thread lines up. 
If the thread doesn't line up, you've then got a problem before you start putting it in because the clips that these um, screw into, the little retainer clips, they're not great. Uh, and if you break them, then they're just gonna spin and not do up at all. So hand tight and then half a turn. You can then put your little caps in and your caps can go in like so, or actually push them in there and then you just push them home. He says no, because they're, they're keyed. So you put that in, there's a little keyway on here and the keyway faces into the center of the drinks holder. Pop it in, click home, pop it in, click home. Now, just move the tools out of the way. So yes, those of you that have already spotted, yes, it's gray, yes, it's black, they don't make uh, the grey drinks holder because it was a facelift. From 2014 onwards, all of these vehicles had the black dashboard. But to be fair, it doesn't really make a massive difference because of the fact you can buy this in black, you can buy the leather gear shifter in black, you can buy this trim in black, and you can buy the glove box in black. They're all quite expensive parts. You can go to a scrapyard and get them as well. We've even done uh, a video before of even changing the air vents from gloss black to silver. These have just got sticky bits on because they're quite old. But here we've gone from the big glove box to now the genuine Fiat drinks holder. Two nice, decent sized cup holders here, little coin tray and a little, um, I keep my USB lead for my vehicle in there, or you could put pens in there as well. So, motorhome for motorhome, a video for motorhome retrofits, X250 and the X290 genuine drinks holder upgrade. You can do this yourself, we sell you a kit, all you need is a T25 screwdriver and a bit of patience and maybe 15, 20 minutes of your time. Look at the transformation. Thanks for watching guys, and don't forget to visit the website, which is www.motorhomeretrofits.co.uk, and don't forget to like and subscribe.